Hey guys! So, as you're looking right now, this is, in fact, a traditional video! Uh, thanks to my buddy Aerofex Dracona, which I will boop in the description below because I can't figure out how to just do the stupid little eye boopy thing. Hopefully I can soon, but I don't know how to do it right now, so. She uh, showed me where she got her tripod for her webcam that she records her videos on. I don't currently own a good webcam, so I'm using my Nikon, little my little dinky Nikon that I used for my vlog members and my normal traditional videos, but with this tripod, I was able to much, much, much easily, easier, easier, great grammar, Michelle, Michelle, I meant to say easier, to record videos. Um, it's actually pretty funny. I don't realize how bad my grammar is until I re-listen to some of my audio, and I'm like, why the fuck did I say that? This sentence doesn't make sense, but that's a ramble. So, this video, um, this picture was done relatively quickly. Uh, I just really wanted to more test out my tripod and test out the area. I still need to figure out how to try to set it up so my camera doesn't fall over, because you can still see the little tripod legs on the sides. And I forgot that the desk I am currently using, which is my fiancé's old desk, has this really, really strict um, like groove in the middle of it. So that's why I had to have that little Copic anime dude thing on the bottom, because when I was trying to just sketch on my toned paper, it was making it really jaggedy and janky, and I was like, mm -mm, I'm not going to color with this thing, because it'll be like when you used to take... Uh, crayons and do it over that uh, like that leveled board. I don't know if anybody else did that as a kid, but we had like there was like a little like a little slightly raised thing and you put a piece of paper on it and you ran a crayon across it and it like stuck out. So same thing happens with wood. So that's the, the use of the little Copic thing. I'll try to find something in the future. Like I said, this was just a test. Um, the picture overall took me roughly 30 minutes not including the inking to uh, color and finish up. Nothing too fancy. Uh, it started off as Tetsu, and then I just kind of made it into some chick. I looked up some nice color palettes to just blend, so I ended up using only, I think, four Copics for this picture? I'm pretty sure it was four Copics. I have a, I had a little, um, little later in the video, There's a little, I have a little mini swatch palette. but The tone paper was cut by, again, my buddy Aerofax, because this is before I bought my own. She had this nice little, she gave me a little nice little starter set of tone paper. And I've also been really rusty when it comes to traditional work. This year really hasn't been actually the best in the terms of my traditional artwork. Um, I haven't even finished a single sketchbook at all. I've been working really hard and I just can't seem to find the motivation to do it because I've been just working in commissions and that's just whole other slug. So with my new tripod and everything all set up, um, I'll have a link to the tripod, the Amazon link in the description as well because it was relatively cheap for a very nice tripod. I think I only spent like $10. And yeah. Oh, you're going to notice too as well. Um, it's actually pretty funny. In the start of the video when I was inking, my nails look kind of janky. And then suddenly it's like, boop, nails. Um, I was having kind of an off day. So I went and got my nails did. So there's that. So if you like, don't think that like, what the fuck? She had weird nails in a minute and uh, you know, a second ago. And now she's got new nice nails that are gray. <laughs> Sorry for the ramble. I just wanted to point that out there. So, yeah, that's all I really have to say. There's not much to talk about this piece besides it was a warm-up, test thing. Uh, everyone should do, like, little test pictures, you know. I liked it enough. I threw it in my sketchbook. And um, I'm hoping to do more art videos, traditional videos, and challenges in the future. The only downside is there might be a couple of, like, jump cuts between certain parts. Because with my camera, um, it can only record, the battery can only record for 30 minutes at a time. And so I have to tend to... Like, check my camera, stop it whenever I do it a spot, and restart it, and blah, blah, blah. So that's a little irritating. But yeah! Okay, I feel like I've rambled enough. I'm gonna leave it to the music to finish up for you guys, and I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you enjoy seeing more traditional and just art in general for me in the future. So, as always, I will see you guys next time. Bye!